Hi there, it's Dr. Everybody. Uh, here's a few hints on starting Project 2. Uh, they're, they're really, you know, so what, what are we doing in this project? Well, we're trying to uh, exercise selection and repetition. And we're going to use turtle graphics like uh, as in Lab 4. And what we really have to do is uh, use two repetitions, while and for, and at least one selection. And let me give you a bias right now. In Python, when given a choice between a while and a for, always try for. Right? You'll use for for things that you know how many times you're going to do it, and in Python, we often know that. You use while, maybe you're going to prompt for input or something like that, when you don't know how many times you're going to do it. And we also ask you to uh, do some prompting for some stuff, and you have to use multiple colors. So there's a bunch of things there. What I'm going to focus on are these requirements. Right? Because that's, that's really the crux of what we're working on right now. Uh, to get, so to get started with it, here's a little loop. Uh, yeah, we, we have to import turtle. And it's a little file loop. And we're going to go through it four times. Started my counting at one. We increment the count each time we go through. And each time, I'm going to go forward and go right. So what's this going to do? So my count will have a value of 1. I'll put a little 1 in a box there. And that's where I start. And I go, and th this instruction says the turtle will go forward 100 pixels. Okay, And then it will turn right. So it's going to turn right and it will be facing down. All right, And we come down and, and my count gets incremented so it becomes a 2. And, and my 2 is less than the 4, so that's true statement. So I go down and I go forward, but I've already turned right, so forward now takes me down here. And then we turn right again, increment my count. That was a 2, it now becomes a 3. We check it against 4, it's less than or equal to 4. So we continue in the, in the, uh, uh, the loop and we go forward 100. And then we turn 90 degrees to the right again. We come down, we increment my count, which now becomes a 4. Uh, we check, we see that uh, 4 is less than or equal to 4, so that's OK. So we go into my loop, we go forward 100, we turn right, and then we come down, we increment it again. So my count becomes 5. Is 5 less than or equal to 4? That's now false. That Boolean expression is now false. We're done with loop and we're now done. Let's try it. All right, so it did exactly what we uh, what we thought it would do. And we can make our, our image uh, disappear by you know, typing in the shell turtle dot by bye bye turtle. Now that's that's one repetition. How might I do another repetition? Well, we can uh, we can highlight this, and uh, under formatting, I can indent the region, take the whole region, indent it, and let's put a for statement in there. For i in range, I don't know. Let's do five of these. Now, if I don't do anything else. This will just simply draw a rectangle on top of a rectangle. So let's let's uh, do something else here outside of the loop. Let's do something like turtle dot forward. So every time we draw a square, let's go forward another um, I don't know 50, uh, 30 and see what happens. All right, so. So what, what's going to happen basically here, what we expect to happen, is this part of the code that we had before, that draws a square. And those of you who are reading ahead, we could actually put that into a function to draw a square. And now we're going to draw five. So, so we're going to draw a square. We're going to do it five times. And in between drawing a square, we're going to move forward 30. So we're going to draw a square. 
and then we're going to move forward 30 and then we're going to draw another square and then move forward 30 we're going to draw another square move forward 30 draw another square it's not a very interesting figure we're going to do that five times let's see if it works the way we think so here's the first square now we move, draw the second square, we move, draw the third square, and so on. All right, now we're going to draw five. We're going to do that five times. And again, when we're done, we can say bye bye, turtle. So that wasn't very interesting. Uh, what might be more interesting is uh, to do something else like let's go uh, there is a uh, pen up so we'll pick the pen up we'll move the turtle forward 30 uh, we'll uh, turn right I don't know let's go uh, 30 degrees and uh, we'll go Uh, forward another 30 I seem to like 30 today and let's make our uh, turtle point back in the original direction so we only write 30 and then back 30 and when we're all done with doing that we'll put the pen down again so we did all that moving with the pen up so we don't see it now we put it down and so this time Remember, we haven't changed the basic part of this is drawing a square. So we're still going to draw a square. And then we're going to pick the pen up. We're going to move. You know, so we're going to draw the square. We're going to pick the, the pen up. We're going to go forward 30, turn right 30 degrees. All right. And then we're going to go forward 30, which is going to be something like that. And except we're not going to see it. And then we're going to turn left back to where we were, and we're going to draw a rectangle like that, and then we're going to repeat that. Go forward 30, turn down 30, go forward 30, and then draw another rectangle. So the, th those parts of the lines won't be, be showing. Let's see what happens. So we draw a square, and we move down, Right, and we move down and so now we can actually see the fact that I'm drawing my five rectangles still not a very interesting um, uh, drawing in terms of what you have to do but now you can kind of see how you can do things uh, you uh, and, and of course there, there are you know what I haven't done here is I haven't done I, I don't have any if statements in there I don't have any uh, changes of color and filling things in and so on. So you still have plenty left to do, but this gives you a little bit of an idea of how you might mix the, um, the, uh, um, mix the loops. Uh, let, me, let me just show you one more thing here and get rid of that. Uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, you know, it's it's often easier to use uh, for loops than while loops, uh, and in fact, the way I would would do this one is uh, is replace is make my uh, square get rid of the count. And now I, uh, I only have three lines of code as opposed to five lines of code to draw the square. And we see that uh, it will still do the same thing, draws the square just fine, and the rest of it doesn't change. So there's a little bit of a start on the, uh, uh, on the project. Good luck.